Okay, welcome to video four of any resources Ajax and JavaScript tutorials. I'm just going to jump right back into this, right where the last video left off. Um, the we split now player amount zero, which had all of this data right here, all this data. You notice we have we need to get each one each individual one of those. So we're going to split it by this slash once again. If you notice, there's one, two, three, four, five sections of data, five pieces of data we need to gather out of that. So what I've done is I've split it and turned it into an array. So if you have, if there's five pieces of data and you have two things on your map, that's ten total chunks of data you're going to have because you're going to have two names, two, two div tags, two everything that comes out of there, one for each one. So what we got to do is we got to create a counter for every piece of data that you have. So let's say that you eventually decide, well I want to add a new piece of data that comes back. Um, the color of the screen or some a color of the little chunk or whatever it may do you're going to want to add another counter here and let me explain these counters <clears throat> counter one is equal to zero in the beginning because when that very first player that comes out that's the very first player in the database he's his his um let's go here let me go here to make this a little easier to explain his tag is in array slot zero the icon is in one two three four okay that player is done well, the, now the next player's got to start. So he actually starts at, tag, at number five, array slot five, six, seven, eight, nine. The next guy is going to be 10, 11, 12. And so that's how, we, that's how I've arranged them in the array. So we have to be able to, to break that up and know when a new one starts. So what I've done is, after you've placed your first character, first whatever player, counter one's going to be plus five. So zero now becomes five or four. So the, And that's the first start of the new guy and counter two is now um, five six seven and then when the third guy starts we're gonna add another five to it and that's how I'm breaking up every single player the reason why I have done this is because this is one database hit this is one request that's it if you do any more and try to do that every two seconds you're gonna you're gonna see slowdown but at least this way you collect all the data one hit you're done and it all comes in one string. The string is will never be long enough to really cause you any problems unless you just, I mean, I don't know if it, it ever would be, to be honest. Um, so let's break down past that. Now we're going to build the map. If you notice, I'm doing um, I'm doing a switch statement. Net players counter four. Counter four is where it outputs the name of the actual uh, player. If it's a tree, then we want to output on the tree we want to output the image of whatever the whatever shows up, which is the net players counter two, which is the actual pick name, dot png, and all. And just so I don't forget to show you guys, that's the way you do your images. Is tree one dot png. You just you you name it. This tree one is the exact same name as what it is in the database. So that way it knows exactly what to grab. Um, tree one. You notice the same way with the players too. So it puts the it puts the uh, the tree down, and then it makes it a link. Oh, I'm sorry, up here it makes it a link, um, a function that's called lumber, and it passes into lumber the value, which is counter five, which which got echoed out, and then counter one, which is the name. So it's basically echoing out. It's actually taking that data, which is the name and the uh, or I'm sorry, the div tag. It's it's taking the div tag and the value and it's putting it into the function and passing it to the lumber function which we'll go to here in a minute um, if you're feeling a little lost right now just just bear with me and, and you can always go to the forums and ask questions um, as we go so basically the next thing we're going to do is we're doing an, an inner HTML so I'm doing the div tag whatever div tag it is its inner HTML is going to equal the action window array the action window array is whatever we just put in here which is the tree so that's what's basically doing is it's turning the inner HTML into an image it's turning text into an image and creating that image so whatever ends up in there okay the next case I did was plant I have not gotten to the point of, of creating a new function for plants or rocks or anything but you can learn off lumber just copy lumber and make it a little different so really all you'd have to do is copy this action window um, and then place that information in it and it's going to be kind of the same th same way, and, and it actually you it's actually kind of set up here, but I haven't got a harvest function yet, so you just have to make the function of the harvest and pass these variables into it, and then the default is going to be players, other player, 
Um, of course you're going to probably want to change that later but actually that would probably be the best way to do it default if, if it's not a tree if it's not a plant if it's not a rock if it's not anything else it's then that means it's a player and that's what it's doing it's on click other player this is where you're going to put your pvp in your your status you can click on a player to get a status you're going to put it in that function right there then when all those are done it's going to increase the counters and it's going to start over it's going to do that until you run out till this is till this is done um and then we go back into our old one. So that's basically how we built the map. Uh, pretty simple, yet a little bit complicated. Once you get your head wrapped around it, it'll be nothing at all. The next function is traveled. And I'll show you where traveled comes from. Travel comes from when you click these buttons. Um, and let's do this. This is actually in our right panel. So let's go to our right panel. Let's see where is it at right panel PHP this is in the include in that section of the table come on Adobe and all it's doing is is I'm uh, creating a just a little form which is a box it's uh, and I'm doing a function called traveled and I'm passing the, I'm passing whichever direction you go in is passing a different number and then I've just labeled them and so let's look at traveled I'm actually going to, I'm running out of time on this video, so I'm going to do traveled in the next, the next video.